Hello everyone, my name is Sean, or the Minecraft Avatar Aang 4 s 6 My skin is not currently loading, but here's my head. Yeah. Welcome to a tutorial on boss bars. Every facet of the command, plus an extra thing, so this video is in two parts. If you want to know just how to use the boss bar command, then, then you can watch all this part. If you want to learn how to use it with games and points, and how to adjust it with scoreboards, then stay with the rest of it. It's a command that is introduced in 1.13, this tutorial is being made in 1.15.2. This may become outdated one day, but I think that this is going to last for a long time. So, let's start with the boss bars. How do you create one? Well, let's show you here. You slash boss bar, add, then the name of your boss bar, then some JSON. So let us explain that here. So, boss bar add, hero brine, it has to be lowercase, everything in this has to be lowercase for the ID part, the ID. Now, how is it going to, do, going to display on the actual bar? That's where you do some JSON. Here you go. This is, just type it like this, text, credit bracket, quotation mark, text, lowercase, quotation mark, colon, and then however you want the actual boss bar to be displayed on the screen, I want to be called Herobrine, like that. That's how it's going to be displayed. So the ID here could be anything. It could be that, and it will still display it like Herobrine. This is only for later commands' sake. Text Herobrine. Click this. It has created a custom boss bar of Herobrine. Removing it, boss bar, remove. Then this is where the ID comes in. Wherever you had your ID set in the first command, you just you can hit tab. It's Minecraft colon Herobrine. Or if you just type in Herobrine, that will also work. There we go. Or whatever your ID was. Now, there's a great command, a great public command, boss bar list. There are no boss bars active. Now, if I type it again, there's one boss bar active. Boss bar list. You click that, and it will appear there are one custom boss bars active. If it's removed, and I'll try it again, there are no custom boss bars. Fairly straightforward. Now, here we have the boss bar set function. Boss bar set. Here, Brian, so you have to, whatever, whatever ID you want to use, which, whatever boss bar you want to set, you have to know the ID for, of course. Boss bar set. I'm going to just set my Hero Brian one. Now, there are many different things here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different options. Let's break that down, shall we? First off, visible. So, boss bar set visible, true, or false. We want to be able to see it, so it will be true. Now let's click button here. So we can't see it yet because the system does not know who is allowed to see the boss bar. And that's where this comes in. Boss bar, boss bar set, the hero Brian is the ID we're still using because it's the same boss bar ID as before. Players, I'm going to set at A, for all players, all players will be able to see this. Every player on your world. Now, there it is, pop, there it is at the top. Now, if I want to change the visibility of this to false, I can do that. But I want it to be true, I want to be able to see it. So, all players can see it, and it is, is visible. Now, color. Color is pretty important because you can change the actual color of the bar itself. This is pretty straightforward. You can choose which option you want. I'm going to go with blue here. Let's make it blue. Now, up top it's blue. If I wanted to change it to green, we can do that. And that looks a bit like the XP bar, etc., etc. We can go down to red as like a raid. So that's pretty fun, like that. All right, let's keep it at red, because here Ryan is a mythical monster creature in Minecraft lore, so he's a villain. Let's make it red. Now, max and value go hand in hand. The max amount of points you can have. Uh, right now, the default is 100. So let's set the value first. If we set it value to 100, it'll be full. If we set the value to 10, it'll be right there. It'll be one tenth of the thing. If we set it to 50, this will be half. Pretty simple. However, if you want your boss bar to be have a maximum of, say, two points, uh, right here, then it, it has a maximum bar on the top of two points, 
but it is filled already to 50, so it is beyond filled. So let's set the value here to 1. That will be half, because the maximum it has here is 2. If we set the maximum here to 10, then 1 would be lower. And if we set it then to 2, be a little higher. You know, etc., etc. And then 5 is half of that. So max is the total amount of points you can hold, and value is the points it currently holds. So for our sake, let's keep it at a solid 10 max, like that, and put it at 10 to fill up the entire bar. Now style is pretty simple. It's just, do we want to have some notches, or do we like, right now it is currently the default is the progress bar. We can change this to style to be notched, meaning it's going to have little lines all throughout it, like that, or like that. There are a few options for that. There's 10, 12, 20, or 6. And then, of course, you can go back to progress, which is the default no bars or notches. I kind of like the notches. Let's go with notched of 10. Because there are 10 points, it makes it quite easy. So we went down to 9. It would be much cleaner and concise on the notches. Easier to tell how much you have left. Back to 10. So the name of this. If you are not satisfied with the name of here, if you don't think the name here, Ryan, is good enough, we can always go and later change the name as long as the ID here stays the same. Because the ID is the actual bar itself. But we can change what its name is with the same JSON as before. Just like that. So this, you need this for always naming anything on the boss bars. We want to change the name to, in all caps, Hero Brian. And if we wanted to say, make it bold, that, this is where we could do that easily without having to completely remove the thing and re add it. It's just a nice little addition. Uh, here, nice little addition we have. Now it's all in bold and it is in all capitals. Pretty simple stuff. If you wanted to change the name of it, this is where you would do it without having to completely remove the boss bar command and do it from scratch. Now, up next after boss bar set is slash boss bar get. This is solely informational. It changes nothing about the boss bar itself. Boss bar get. So if you wanted to get the, the maximum of the boss bar, it has a maximum of 10. Players has one player currently online who can see it. This will just, it has four types of get. Boss bar, get, hero brine, max players value invisible. This allows you command-wise to just quickly know, okay, uh, what is the current max value of this thing? Oh, it's 10. Oh, what is the current value of it set to? Oh, it's 10. That's helpful. Is it visible right, right now or not? It's currently shown. Easy, quick, little informational thing to get in your chat. Or if you just want to run the command, boss bar, get, hero brine, max, again, you can just see, has a maximum of 10. It's a more informational, does not change any settings. Now, if all you wanted to learn was the part of that slash boss bar, that's all you wanted to learn about this, and nothing else, you all can hop on the video right now, think of watching. However, if you are here to know how to use it with scoreboards, continue watching, please. Because often, you often want to use this as a display in a mini game or a map, and then when your player does a certain score, it will adjust accordingly alongside it. And here we have that. So, to do that, we need to first add a scoreboard objective. Scoreboard objectives, not schedule, scoreboard objectives add. Simple command. So scoreboard objectives add. I'm calling this objective HB health. You can call it whatever you want. I'm calling it this. Now I'm also making this a dummy command, meaning I'm not relying on it being food or your health or death count or anything like that for this to work. I'm making this so it only I, using commands, can adjust the objective. So we're going to add the objective here, HP health. If you want to remove it, it's the same way, scoreboard objectives remove, same way to add and remove with boss bars, pretty much. So add HP health dummy. Simple. And then, I want to be able to see my points on the sidebar here. So let's quickly do this. Scoreboard objectives set display sidebar HP health. So when I have a score, it'll easily be able to be displayed over on the right-hand side. So let's try adding a point to a both our scoreboard and the boss bar. Let's break this down. 
Let's do that here. Execute is a pretty helpful command. Execute, we're going to execute the storing. We're not going to execute out of player, we're not going to execute as a player. We're going to execute this command by storing the result of the following command. So whatever the output is, we'll put that into something. So we're storing the result of, of the command we're going to do into the boss bar. But which boss bar? We're going to store it into our currently made one Hero Brian, Minecraft Hero Brian. So we're executing the command we're going to do and storing the data into the Hero Brian boss bar. But we're going to store it the value, not the maximum. Then run scoreboard players add. I'm going to use a fake player health detector hero brine it means nothing you can put anything in here and it doesn't matter for this sake you can use all players you can use at the nearest player this point does not matter as much that is more subjective to what game you are making if you want to have it so when a player presses the button the nearest player runs this command then you want to do this one but we're going to do for the boss bar here a fake player which just works just fine health detector hero brine is what I'm calling it Add. The, the objective we already have, HP health, of 1. And now this is the same thing over here, except it is removing 1 point. So I do this. See, it, worked, it went down there at the top to 1 notch. And I got on the score of the sidebar here. The health detector Herobrine fake player got an HP health score of 1. If I added it again, it will add to that fake player score of 1, making it 2. It will add to it to 3, to 4, to 5, etc. It will now take this command here, will add the health detector hero by a fake player's score of HP health of 1, and then it will store the result of that command into the boss bar of hero Brian, the value of that. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. And then the same thing here is removing it, so if you lose a point, you can go down simple stuff. And that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and please subscribe for more videos, more content, more maps, more minigames, and more survival multiplayer Minecraft. Thank you for watching. See ya! Bye.